Hello viewers, today I'm going to show you how you can use the registry editor under your administrator's profile to make any application runnable from the run dialog box. And all you have to do is this. First of all, run registry editor as your local administrator. Uh, you can skip this step safely if you are running as your administrator. If not, you need to make a shortcut to it. It's really, really easy to do. So once you're in the registry editor, especially for those of you who are new, it looks really confusing, but it's a really easy hierarchy to manage. Simply go to this path. H key local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, and app pass. Now notice there are so many in here from things you've previously installed. So for example, um, let's say that I want to make a shortcut to um, let's see here, what's already not on here? Hypercam, of course, everyone loves Hypercam. What is not on here? Yeah, hyper TRM. That's not Hypercam. So what you're going to want to do is right click on App Pass and make a new key. I'm going to name it hypercam.exe. Then go to the default and uh, type in the path. So to get to the path for Hypercam, all I need to do is go to my Hypercam 2 folder and get this. It says HYCAM2. You can make it any name you want. So uh, you could call that Pi in the Sky. It would still run. So then just copy this path and edit it as necessary. .exe. Now close out of the registry and run Hypercam. And now it'll run well yeah, that's because I'm already using Hypercam. It's a video Hypercam. And you can run anything from this or you can do a little bit of house cleaning. And by doing the same exact thing, going to the same exact path and simply deleting stuff out of here. It won't actually do anything to your system. So for example, Adobe Reader. I never use this. Delete it. Um, AOL EXE. Never use it. Now, it won't terminate your system. Just type in AOL and it can't find AOL because it's not in here anymore. And for anything that you don't use, just delete it. You can save yourself uh, a lot of trouble, and you can also make room for a lot more stuff without uh, exponentially increasing the size of your registry. I thank you for watching, and I hope I'll have some more video tutorials on how to do some really cool stuff in the registry coming up sometime soon. See you later.